boys and girls, this is Mrs. Pearson, your elementary ELL teacher. Today we're going to focus on the vocabulary, pictures, and words for the Second Grade Journeys Lesson 5. And this anchor text is Teacher's Pets. Before this lesson, we're going to turn and talk. That means I'm going to ask you a question. You're going to think about your answer. Then you're going to pair up with a partner. And if you don't have a partner at home, you can be my virtual partner. And then you're going to share out your answer in a complete sentence or sentences. So for this lesson, you will need a pencil and you will need a piece of paper or journal page. And you're gonna divide the paper into three equal parts. One, two, three, just like down on the side and below. And then you're going to write your numbers one to eight. And for those uh, one, numbers one through eight, you're going to write a vocabulary word for each number. So if you need to, push pause, get a pencil and a piece of paper, write your numbers one through eight. And then you are also going to write a synonym. And a synonym means a word that means the same, just like combine is the same as mix. Or if you don't catch the synonym, you can just write the word again. And then you're gonna draw a, pic a picture or a sketch that goes along with the word for each of our eight vocabulary words. So here's our learning target. I can use pictures and context clues to help me understand important words from the story, Teacher's Pets. Our second learning target, I can have a conversation with a partner about the vocabulary words and pictures. And if you don't have a partner at home, you can be my virtual partner. Success criteria, that means how will you know you're successful at reaching the learning targets? How will you know you're successful at using pictures and context clues to understand important words from the story, teacher's pets? Well, just like these people are climbing the mountain step by step, their goal is to reach the top of the mountain. We are going to take special steps to reach our learning targets. So here's what we're going to do. I will, number one, look closely at each group of pictures. Number two, I will say what I notice about the pictures. How are they the same or similar? Number three, read each word and its definition. And then four, you're going to write each word one to two times. Then you're going to write a synonym or a word that means the same. And you're going to draw a quick sketch. All right, so let's get started. Our turn and talk rules. If you have a partner at home, you're eye to eye and knee to knee. Number two, first one person talks, the other person listens. Three, then the next person talks, the other person listens. Do not talk too long on your turn or your partner will not have time to have a turn. For each group of pictures, I'm going to ask the same questions. What do you notice or see? What do you notice or see? Then you're going to say, I notice or I see. Then I'm gonna ask you, how are they all the same or similar? And you're going to say, they all. And if you have a partner at home, or if I'm your virtual partner, you can say, I agree, and say, I agree with you because, and tell me why, or I disagree with you because, and tell me why, because you may have the same opinion as me, or your partner, or you may not have the same opinion and you disagree, and that's okay. So let's get started. First group of pictures, what do you notice or see? So say it out loud, I notice. Well, in the first picture, I notice they have thumbs up. They look happy. Scooby looks is jumping for joy. 
SpongeBob is excited and happy. So how are all these pictures the same or similar? They all Well, I think they all show happy, great, wonderful. So number one, you're going to write number one is wonderful. Write it for number one, W-O-N-D-E-R-F-U-N, wonderful. How many syllables? Wonderful. Three syllables, W-O-N-D-E-R-F-U-L. And what does wonderful mean? Great, fantastic. So here is um, a sentence with the word, pets are wonderful. They make very good friends. Pets are wonderful. They make very good friends. So in your next column, remember I asked you to write a synonym or a word that means the same. So a synonym for wonderful is great. So you can write great, G-R-E-A-T. So number one is wonderful. A synonym for wonderful is great. And think about it. What is something wonderful that happened this week? Tell about it, wonderful. So again, you're going to write the word wonderful then you're going to write the word great. That's our synonym right next to it. And then at the end of the lesson, you're gonna draw a quick sketch or picture that goes with wonderful and great. Number two, what do you notice or see? I notice, so finish my sentence, I notice, Well, in the first picture, I notice it looks like a speaker letting out noise. And it looks like in the second picture, there's a lot of loud noise, like music coming through the wall. And this boy or girl's trying to study. They look frustrated. And it looks like this girl is shouting. So how are these pictures all the same or similar? They all... Well, they all show noise or sound of some sort. So number two is noises, N-O-I-S-E-S, -S. noises, two syllables, noises. What are noises? Noises are sounds, and there's your synonym. So number two, write noises, N-O-I-S-E-S, here is the word noises in a sentence. Big dogs bark loudly. Small dogs do not make such loud noises. Big dogs bark loudly. Small dogs do not make such loud noises. So a synonym, I bet you already know what a synonym is, a word that means the same as noises. Sounds, S-O-U-N-D-S. Sounds. So number two is noises, and a synonym for noises is sounds. So put that in the second, second column. Think about it. What are some noises that you might hear outside? If I'm going too fast, push pause, and then when you're done, push play. Number three, what do you notice or see? I notice or I see Well, in the first picture I notice an emoji has zipped lips or a mouth. He's totally quiet. It looks like in the second picture the girl's going from kind of wild to calm. And then in the third picture the man is saying, shh, be quiet. So how are all these pictures the same? They all? Well, 
Well, they all show quiet or calm. So number three is quiet. Quiet, two syllables. Q-U-I-E-T, quiet. So write quiet for number three. What is quiet? To make little to no sound, calm, not noisy. Quiet means to make little to no sound, calm, not noisy. A lizard is a very quiet pet. It does not make a sound. Here's a synonym, a word that means the same as quiet. Calm, C-A-L-M, calm. So write quiet for number three, and in the next column, you can write calm. Now you're going to think about it. Describe a quiet place that you like to go, that you like to go to. All right, number four. What do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice um, it looks like a shaker that's sprinkling out hearts. And it, the second picture shows sprinkles on a donut or donuts. And then the third picture, I notice a watering can that's watering or sprinkling. So how are these pictures all the same or similar? They all... Well, you heard me, they all show sprinkled. The root word is sprinkle, sprinkled. And this is past tense, sprinkled, S-P-R-I-N-K-L-E-D, sprinkled, S-P-R-I-N-K-L-E-D. What does sprinkled mean? Scattered or shook small amounts. So you can scatter water, you can sprinkle salt, you can sprinkle candy or seeds or something, anything that you scatter or shake onto something. You can sprinkle cheese onto your pizza. The fish food was lightly sprinkled on top of the water. The fish food was lightly sprinkled on top of the water. A synonym or a word that means the same as sprinkled is scattered. So in the second column, after you write sprinkled, you can write scattered, scattered, scattered. The root word is scatter and ed is at the end. S-C-A-T-T-E-R-E-D, scattered. That's past tense, just like sprinkled. It's done in the past. Think about it. What kinds of animals might eat food that has been sprinkled for them? Number five, what do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, it looks like a boy is giving something to a girl or sharing something. Um, in the second picture, it looks like someone divided up a cookie maybe to share. In the third picture, it looks like two girls are um, playing together and sharing their um, shapes. So how are these pictures all the same or similar? They all... They also show share, share, one syllable, S-H-A-R-E. It has the silent E, makes the A say its name, share. What does share mean? To show to others or to take part in something, to divide up. So to share means to show to others, so you could share your picture that you drew or to take part in something so you can share your toys, or you can divide up, like divide up a cookie. Share. 
take pictures of your pets to share or show with your friends. What's a synonym for share? Divide up, it's actually two words. So if you divide up, that means you're saying, here, you have this and I'll take this and we're going to share it. Divide up, D-I-V-I-D-E, divide up, U-P. Divide also has a magic E that makes the I say its name. Just like share has a magic E, which makes the A say its name. So write five, share. Your synonym is divide up. Think about it. Do you like to share what you write or show? How do you feel when you share things in front of the class? Number six. What do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, I notice in the first picture, someone's looking through their binoculars. In the second or middle picture, it looks like a girl or a boy is looking or noticing something. And in the third picture, SpongeBob sees um, a jellyfish that he wants to catch. So how are these pictures all the same or similar? They all well they all show noticed. The root word is notice n o t i c e d or c e notice and then you've got the d at the end which means in the past not right now, in the past, noticed. Noticed means saw, felt, or heard it, was aware of. So the girl noticed the, the animal across the street or the man with the binoculars noticed the birds in the, on the tree and SpongeBob noticed the jellyfish. This rabbit noticed or looked carefully at the carrot held for it to eat. This rabbit noticed or looked carefully at the carrot held for it to eat. So you write the word noticed and a synonym in the second co column could be saw. Saw, S-A-W, that's the past tense of to see. Saw, think about it. What have you noticed about the weather or what have you seen or saw about the weather? Describe the weather. So write noticed, a synonym is saw, past tense for see. Number seven, what do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I noticed that all of a sudden the balloon popped. I noticed in the second picture, um, it looks like the pipe burst. And in the third picture, the closet is overflowing with presents. It's jam packed. So how are these pictures all the same or similar? They all... Well, they all show bursting, like the, the, the balloon, the balloon was bursting or burst. The root word is burst. The pipe is bursting. The closet is bursting or full of presents, bursting, full of, overflowing, ready to break open suddenly, bursting. Look at this crowded basket. It is bursting with puppies. Look at this crowded basket. It is bursting with puppies. A synonym for bursting, a word that means the same, is overflowing. Over and flowing. That's a compound word. 
Now I'm going to clap the syllables. Overflowing, overflowing, four syllables. O-V-E-R, over, flow, F-L-O-W, I-N-G, overflowing. Think about it. What might happen if someone is bursting with good news? If they're bursting or overflowing with good news. Okay, we're at our last word, number eight. What do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, I notice in the first picture, the boy looks like he's running very quickly. In the second picture, I notice a, a clock or a stopwatch, and it probably means quickly. And then all of a sudden, the, um, the wind blew the umbrella there in the third picture. So how are these pictures all the same or similar? They all... Well, they all show suddenly. The root word is sudden, S-U-D-D-E-N, sudden, Lee, L-Y, suddenly, suddenly, three syllables, S-U-D-D-E-N-L-Y, S-U-D-D-E-N-L-Y, suddenly. What does it mean? It happens without warning, quickly. So like the fox with his umbrella, the wind came without warning and it was quickly and it made the umbrella pop. A parrot might surprise you if it suddenly says a word. Synonym or a word that means the same for suddenly could be quickly, quickly, quickly. The root word is quick, Q-U-I-C-K-L-Y, quickly. Think about it. What is something that can happen suddenly without warning or quickly? All right, so now we're going to check your work. Make sure you've written all your words, one through eight, all the way down to eight. And then make sure you've written a synonym. And if you didn't catch the synonym, you can write, oh, a synonym means the same, like combine is the same as mix. If you didn't catch the synonym, that's okay. You can always rainbow write your word, write the word again. And then at the very end, I want you to draw a quick picture or sketch in the third column. So let's review. What was number one? Wonderful. Great. Fantastic. Wonderful. So I highlighted a synonym. You write wonderful. Another word for wonderful could be great. Number two, noises. Noises are sounds, and here there's a synonym, sounds. So you need to write noises, and then in the second column, you can write sounds. Number three, quiet. To make little to no sound, calm, not noisy. And a synonym for quiet could be calm. Four, sprinkled. Scattered or shook in small amounts, sprinkled. And another word for sprinkled could be scattered. Now, if you need to, push pause and make sure you have your word and your synonym. And if you want to, you can draw your quick sketch for each. Number five, share. Share means to show others or to take part in something, to divide up. 
They'll write the word share. A synonym could be show or divide up. Number six, noticed, saw, felt, or heard it, was aware of. So saw could be a synonym. Number seven, bursting, full of, overflowing, ready to break open suddenly. So a synonym could be overflowing. And number eight, suddenly, it happens without warning, quickly, suddenly. So a synonym could be quickly. So again, make sure you have your words five through eight, share, noticed, bursting, suddenly. And then in the second column, you write your synonym. Share would be, another word for share would be divide up. Another word for notice could be saw, number seven. Another word for bursting could be overflowing. And eight, another word for suddenly could be quickly. So if you need to push pause, make sure you have your vocabulary word for each number and your synonym. You can also draw your quick sketch if you want to. At the top of your paper, I want you to reflect on your learning. How well did you hit our learning target today? I can use pictures and context clues to help me understand important words from the story, Teacher's Pets. Would you give yourself a four? I could teach this lesson. I easily said how each group of pictures were the same. Three, I was able to say how most of the pictures were the same. Two, I was able to say how some of the pictures were the same. Or one, I was not able to say how any of the pictures were the same. So write your reflection grade at the top of your paper, four, three, two, or one. And now we're at the end of our lesson. It's time to challenge yourself. Make sure you've written a word, one through eight, and a synonym. And a synonym means a word that is similar or the same, just like combine is the same as mix. If you didn't catch the synonym, that's okay. You can rainbow write your word again in the second column. And then your last thing is to draw a picture or a sketch for each word. All right, boys and girls, thank you for doing this lesson with me. Be sure to challenge yourself and write a synonym for each of your vocabulary words and a picture for each of your vocabulary words, and you will be done. Thank you, and have a great day.